Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. Looks like I am going to be doing it for September 11th to the 17th. This is a weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled these as well. This is for the sign of Taurus, September 11th through September 17th, weekly love reading. This may or may not resonate. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you can check your moon sign or your rising sign. If you do like, you hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe, um, and I'll be in your, your list. If you want um, notifications, you hit the bell. If you just want to subscribe without the notifications, you, you hit the subscribe. I'll try to remember to, to zoom this in. Oh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. First card is the strength card. That's inner strength. So this week you are being called to have inner strength. For some reason, it's the first card. Um, I see that there's some kind of love, but there's also heartache. All right? And there's ignoring a situation. So I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to get a bunch more cards. This is the week of September 11th to the 17th. There is a new phase right right ahead of you, so I don't know if it's this week or if it's coming off or if you've started it, but with the Wheel of Fortune card, something is changing, and it's great. It's a great positive change. It's like, it's like a new journey or a new chapter, all right? But there's something. There's something going on. There's some kind of... Um, I don't know. There's some kind of lies or, or sneakiness, all right? There's something going on. I'm not sure what it is. Now, this is the week. Uh, I just kind of keep reminding me of myself that this isn't a monthly reading, so apologize for that. We do have you right underneath the strength card, but that's also the Hierophant that's saying, wait a minute, listen. Listen to your intuition. What does your inner guide say? What are you hearing, all right? Um... <laughs> Are you pretending you're not hurt over a situation? I mean, is that what's happening here? That's, I mean, there's, this is like pretending it's ignoring a situation that's involving heartache and love, okay? So I, I'm not sure what this is, and I think you're uh, scared. You're scared, maybe you're scared of love because of past heartache. I mean, this is the moon card, it's about fear. And it's, and you're ignoring a fear? Hmm. Do you still have to leave somebody behind? Because this is leaving somebody behind. And this is this, this person could already be gone. And you're emotionally attached. Alright? You gotta leave, leave the emotional attachment. Are you you're afraid to make a change? You're afraid to start the new chapter for some reason. And this could be a subconscious fear. That but you know it's there. It's it's, it's hard to explain. Um your home, I think that you're very comfortable right now this week at home. Your home life is feeling really good. You know, there's no struggle. I don't see any struggle on the home front. For many of you, it looks very abundant and stable. You have your defenses up. But you, but you have your defenses up. And I, your defenses are up against something. Fear. Your fear of the unknown. You ha are very guarded. Very, very guarded. Your fear of the unknown is big this week. All right? And it's because of past heartache. I mean, that's what it is. 
um, this week, I mean, it looks, it's, it's crazy energy because, I mean, you're guarded because you, you've been hurt really badly somehow. You've been hurt over something and you, you're trying to just pretend it and block it out. It's like a blockage. It is definitely, that's what it is. And, and, in, and you feel good about what you've accomplished. You've, you've really blocked it out quite, quite well, whatever this is. You know, this fear or this pain has been like totally like a, a shield has been put right around it. And that's what's going on. And you're feeling good because you've blocked it out. I mean, it's like a pathological liar. Not that you're a pathological liar because that's not it. I'm just trying to explain how this is. How they, they believe their own lies. Okay? You have blocked it up, out so much. This pain that it's almost like it's not there anymore. But it is. It is, um, but it is there. And that's why your guard is up. But you feel good because you've blocked it out. So it's, it's amazing. It really is. I mean, and really, I mean, maybe it's not blocked it out. Maybe you've let some of it go, but you haven't let it all go because this card is here. Something still needs to go. And you're only deceiving yourself. This is what this card is. Remember, I was like, hmm, it's lies or deceit or something. Sneakiness. But I think this is you deceiving yourself because you're still holding on to something emotionally. All right? I think there's a... Uh, I mean, here we have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There we have a Pisces. You know, so then the, well, those are the, or we have an Aquarius here. Um, we have you, Taurus. We have Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, that's who we have right now. We have Libra. Any one of these signs, could be any sign, could be the one that you are still kind of holding on to, even if, if subconsciously. Okay? I think that you're feeling very satisfied though you know you're feeling very satisfied over something I think I think you've been healing because this is a healing card you've been healing and you've been trying to cut something out maybe a lot of you have because I think we had this before our finality card maybe it's a Libra because we have Libra on both sides anyway I feel like you are going to be I mean you really are want to leave something behind Okay, and you have a, you got this mask of armor around your heart. Seriously. And I think you're feeling very comfortable right now. And it's just like, you know what, I don't even really, right now, I'm happy. I'm happy and satisfied with my home life. And, you know, I don't really, I'm not really giving I don't see giving a whole lot of time to love this week because of your heart. So I think that this week is about your happy, comfortable home as it is right now. Because you're guarded. I don't think you've finally let go of some subconscious fear because of your broken heart. Or hurt heart or vulnerable heart because you know if you were lied to before that shit is hard to let go of or if you let your guard down you made a wrong decision and you wasted some time in your life so then you feel like oh, shit i'm stupid that's not the case we're all stupid it's all in the name of love you know if you don't try you don't know We're going to get another deck. This is September 11th through the 18th. I think this week so far is about your happy, comfortable home because your heart, you got the shield up still and you haven't quite decided to um, take it down. So you just, I think you're happy. You're happy at home, you know.
This is the after tarot. The first one is the magic. Oh no, it's the witch's tarot. I'm sorry, I always say the magic tarot. But it is the witch's tarot, the first one. I must be I need to get the magic tarot because I keep saying it. So I'm, that's my next one. I'll have it within three days. All right. So, um, the first card is about change. Yeah. Second card is second card is just reiterating what I was saying about I'm not sure that you guys are, it's not a really lovely week the week about love finding new love and la 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 it's about you know finally you know thinking about um, coming out of your shell thinking about peeling down the mask you know and and acknowledging your um, fear all right. Um, and, it, and I think you're bringing balance. I think you're bring, your your week is very harmonious. I mean, I don't see any struggles at all this week. I don't think it's a week about lovey dovey hoo ha holding hands. I think it's more about you. Um, very comfortable, happy week where you're working on. Um, Cracking the shell, all right? You're working on it, but right, you're not working on it too hard, okay? You're not working on it too hard, all right? It, yeah, that's what I see. I think you're, you're very grateful for all that you have right now. I think it's a week of gratefulness and comfortableness and harmony and, you know, you're not, there's not a lot of uh, change. I mean, we have change here, but it's a two, okay? There's, you are, it's, this right here is going to help you to acknowledge the mask that's been so well blocked. Really blocked. I mean, you have the power to block with, with the best of them. Okay. This right here is, is um, it's inner conflicts. Inner conflicts regarding this split, whatever it was. Now, this can be a lover. This can be anybody. It can be a family member. And it's affecting your new change and your new direction because we have the we have the wheel of fortune up here. These these things are affecting your um, next chapter. But either way, when that card comes up, the wheel of fortune, something great is right ahead of you. So so realize that when you're digging deep to break the shield, that the new chapter is right here. And when the wheel comes up, it's beautiful. It's a great, wonderful, good new future, new new chapter. It's good luck, good fortune is on the horizon. But you have some fear. You have some big fear. All right? And it's subconscious as well as conscious, but a lot of it is subconscious. So you're going to have to find what that or you know what it is. You don't need to find what it is. You know what it is. You're going to have to work on it. Let me get you a couple of these. We're going to go for three of these Angel Romance cards. I wing it. I never have a plan. <laughs> Actually, I do have a plan. I plan it all out, but not when I, when I pick my cards. I am a pentacles after all. As you can see, every single time I do a reading, I change the cloth and... Every reading has a different cloth. Anyway, I definitely have a plan. Um, and you know what? Everything I say during this reading is for you the minute I hit record. And that's for every sign. But I happen to be a Taurus as well. You guys have a plan as well. Your planner. That's what's going on right now. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Attractive. Absolutely, that's what's going on right now. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Flirt with anybody. Doesn't mean you're going to go have sex with them, okay? Flirting extends your lighthearted energy to others. That's what it does. So it's about being kind. It's about making somebody feel good. You know, don't over flirt. But extending your lighthearted energy to others. I mean, don't give somebody the wrong idea, but you can be kind and nice and friendly. and Because when you do that, it just raises your vibration, but we're not going to go into that right now. Um, 
Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is right over whatever you're letting go. In these inner conflicts. Let go of control issues is... The blockage is a control issue. Whatever it is, is a, you're con trying to control your future or something. You're for the wheel from spinning by not letting something go be out of fear. Because fear is protection, kind of. I mean, if, you, if you're blocking something out, which would be love because you're, you're scared, that is a, like a protective tactic. Like, I'm not going to be hurt again, so I'm just going to push this down. I'm going to put the shield up and I'm going to guard it. And that's controlling. Let go of it. So... I guess you have, this week, you have to let go of control issues. And whatever you have blocked, dig down deep and try to just, uh, I don't know, shatter it. Good luck.